I was paying attention to that in my own body about like these weird little tawny isms that I tend to do. And I thought, wow, you know, these are from, I wonder if I can actually start to examine my life, my own culture through my body. And so I started to really experiment and, and find those places that are my tawny isms. And, and I started to name them as my own like cult, cultural dances, as my own dances. And very specific, like where I think they, they, part of them came from. So I had this whole list of these 25 dances that I extrapolated from my body. And um, on top of that, you know, dancers work with so many things, with space and timing and sensibility and all of that. I was trying to fit these dances as a way to really uh, go back to that folk dance idea, the, um, the social dance idea. I was trying to fit them into that idiom and create a repet repetitive movement of them, because that's really what a lot of folk dancing is. It's this, this repetitive, rhythmical movement that's with specific music that indicates a certain culture at a certain time. And so I was trying to fit those into, to challenge myself to fit those into really specific rhythmical movements that could repeat. So, a sprained ankle dance to hobble from one place to another. Let's see. And you guys, if you can't see, you can move. It doesn't matter where you are. Okay, so that's that one. An ongoing uphill battle dance, the deliberate embrace of the role of the underdog. A general feeling of crookedness dance to not be straight. A grandpa's death dance. To reshift relations after a patriarchal figure has passed away. <laughs> This is one of my favorites. <laughs> Michael Jackson's moonwalking dance at Odessa's party last Thursday night dance. To float without gravity, with only toes touching the moon surface. alignment as if one's bones were floating on top of an up. This is another one of my favorite ones. I'm floating. <laughs> your dance to want to get soaked to the bone. Mm -hmm. A search 
searching for frogs dance. <laughs> to be up to one's knees in muck and not mine. Feelings of being left behind dance, to believe in not being all alone. A sexy love dance, to touch the surface area of an object of desire as much as possible. Slamming into anything, or rather, physically navigating my circumstances dance, to touch the surface area of everything as much as possible. <laughs> <laughs> a tough exterior dance, safeguarding all that is good and soft. It <laughs> 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 last so long. A it should be my birthday on everyday dance, to be the center. All else orbits the center. I'm working on this. It's my birthday! It's my birthday! A second grade recital dance. To want to be seen. And usually I have a little mask. Okay. <laughs> okay, a second. The day before Monday dance, I know now you can't see them. We're gonna You're being so great, you're like Vanna White over here. <laughs> <laughs> the day before Monday dance, a Sunday dance. Do not want to be seen. Mm. A bossy girl dance. <laughs> That's Demand. not me at all. I don't know where that comes from. <laughs> Demanding it. Demanding it. A going, oh, an orphan girl dance. The realization of being completely alone. A going backwards dance to repeat a part of the story. <laughs> An 
orphan girl dance. <laughs> the realization of being completely alone. An inching forward dance to write the hard part of the story. <laughs> A look mono hands dance to learn by falling. A pet, this is another one of my favorites. A pet minotaur, we are young, no one can tell us. We're a long dance. Down, 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 down. down. <laughs> Loving every minute of it dance. The unification of cells. Alright. So those are all of the dances. The idea is that you'll each get a dance, one of those. And I'm going to do what you tell me to do. And so my challenge is, is to go from one dance immediately into the next dance that I hear. So if people are calling out more than one dance, I'm just going to hear whatever I hear is what I'm going to do. And I'm going to stay in that dance until someone else calls another dance. I can go in any direction I want to go in, but I'm trying to not go in the same direction that I just was in. So I'm trying to switch directions and go into the next dance as quickly as that switch can happen, like clicking the TV channel. So I'm trying. Um, yes? If some people are aggressive, can they call out their dance? If you've already danced the dance, does oh, that definitely. mean you have to be quiet? No, you can repeat it. You can repeat it. We can see Pat Benatar as often as somebody yes. screams Pat Benatar. <laughs> Whoever gets Pat Benatar, just please bear that in mind. <laughs> the composition of my dance. And the, and the one thing that I ask from you as I'm trying to do this is you're not only paying attention to when you want to say your dance, you're also watching and listening other people too. Because it's not very much fun if I'm just doing my own thing and you guys are yelling things and you're not really watching it and you're just concerned about when you get to yell it out. And that can happen pretty easily in this <laughs> kind of thing. <laughs> I'm not going to try to pay attention to all of you too. So uh, the other thing is, is if you want to be excruciatingly painful to me, you can also keep me in a dance as long as you want to as well. So you guys have, you know, you guys are creating it, creating the dance. Um, a first rainfall of every year dance. Thank you. 
heart rate. <laughs> Ongoing uphill battle. Day before Monday. A feeling of being left behind dance. Dramatic heart rate. Going backwards. Posse girl. What? Posse girl. <laughs> Searching for frogs. Grandpa's death dance. Michael Jackson. Yeah. <laughs> 